Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. Um, this is the Edge Everyday channel. My name is Brian, last name is Edge, hence Edge Everyday. So, um, here we go, we're going to get into it. Today what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, installing a Ankara miter gauge. And this is the 1000 HD. And what we're, one of the reasons why I got this was I, I like that it has positive stops at every degree increment. Um, and one of the reasons I like that is if, like for me, if I'm doing something around the house um, and it's not a perfect 45 or anything like that, I can set this to literally a 45 and 3 quarters if I have to to get that nice crisp edge that I want. So what we're going to do is we are going to get into this box and then I'll give you the pros and cons about what I like about it. So, hope you guys stick around and let's get into this. Okay, so here we are. Let's get this open. Let's see what we have in the box. So, we're going to get this opened up. We have a set of instructions. We have some knobs, some handles, screwdriver, Allen key, and it looks like the uh, uh, adjuster for the slot. Pull this out. We also have our or stop so we'll sit that down then we have our gauge we'll sit that down and then we have a measuring tape so there we go we can get that box off to the side now so now let's see what we actually have here um, Okay, so here's the contents of our package. We have a Allen key screwdriver, which as you can see there, is gonna come in really handy for making adjustments on your fence and also your stops. We have the handle that goes in there. We have to remove the packaging bolt. We have another scale. We have the um, three different packages here and this one is the micro spare parts, uh, miter spare parts hardware. So there you go, you can see that. And that's what comes in there. That's basically the little inserts, that the Teflon inserts or nylon inserts that help you with your fitment in your T-slots. And then this is the Incra Miter HD hardware pack. So there's your hardware pack. And as you can see, it has a couple other little pieces in there. A couple screws, looks like a clamp, and a Allen key. And then the last one we have is the Incra Flip Stop and Fence Hardware Pack, which is here, which is, goes along with this nice little thing we got there. And what that has is some spacers, some bolts, and also it looks like a T-slot adapter, um, maybe the T-slot uh, mounts. So that's what we get in our pack along with our instructions, the gauge, the fence, and the stop for the fence. So what I'll do is I'll get you brought over here, get you a little bit closer, and we will go through step by step how to set this up. And we'll see what you guys think about it. I'm really excited about getting this. It's going to be a wonderful addition to my wonderful Powermatic PM2000B that I have. So I'll get you over closer and we'll get a, a better shot of what we're actually doing. Alright, so here we are. We're back. I made sure that I loosen this up by hand. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see what I'm doing down here. So. As you guys can see, I'm just taking out 
the nut and bolt that well washer and bolt that it came with this sits over there this is where we grab our handle put our washer on it put this back into the t-slot so now that allows us to open up our gauge. So, as you can see, tighten that up. We're good to go. So, they put this in here for packaging. So, there we go. We have it open. So, nice and free in our miter slot. So, let's see what the instructions say we have to do. I know this was part one of the instructions, but, you know, I kind of needed to do that to be able to open it up to show you so they do have extremely well detailed instructions made on really nice paper um, it's high gloss paper and it's rigid I mean there's a lot everything about this is a quality product um, I've used some of their other ones I've used the SE on um, kind of like a job site saw but when I use the um, HD, I, there was no comparison. For what I need, I didn't feel like I needed to go up to the 3000. Um, I can adapt a crosscut sled to this if I need to. So this is all I really need for what I do. So it goes over safety and all that kind of stuff. You guys can see right there what this looks like when it's fully assembled and just how you know how much it's going to help this does extend out fairly far i will go over that spec when we get to that um inside here also shows you your one tenth of a degree adjustment i'll get in closer on one of these so that you can see it so you can actually go to one tenth of a degree which is amazing not sure why I need that, but a half a degree, I think I could probably use. So that goes off to the side. Next, we have our Inker warranty. So it's an online warranty registration, or you also have the registration form that you can chip in. So guys, quite frankly, I have probably about 10 hours worth of paperwork to do on everything I got because I haven't done my warranty or registration on any of my machines yet. Uh, then there was another pamphlet in here which is um, basically how you adjust your inserts in the um, T-bar so that you don't have any kind of wiggle like it does now. You can you can adjust every one of these with an Allen key. So that's something else that we'll have to go over. We'll sit that there because we got to go back to that one. So now first things first, it says to take that out. All right, we have this open, we have our handle in. So you can see how it is. In the case of us, it says that I need to add, right there, I need to add the T-slot locator so that means I need to get the all right that spare parts and this is the hardware pack which you can see is the one that has the t-slot in it so we are going to get this open and get you would think in my shop I would have a knife laying around but I don't now this is a really simple process Slide this back so you guys can see what I'm doing. So you can see right here there is a groove that is taken out that this is going to sit in just like that. And then we will put the applied screw in there. But guys, just because you're videoing it doesn't mean it all goes right. See, just like that. So I want to lift this up, 
Make sure that you put it facing down, not up, because if so, it won't do you any bit of good. Then put your screw in, which I need to go get a screwdriver. So I'll be right back once I have that installed and back in the slot. Okay, so now that we have our, our hardware bag open, which, come on, focus. Um, you can see this is what it has in there, which basically says it's a retainer T-clip, a flathead Phillips machine screw, a short arm hex key, that's 5 30 seconds, and 1 eighth, which I'm guessing are maybe for those. So... First things first, we are going to take our T-slot and our screw, put them together. We are then going to put them inside the housing. Let me see if I can get you guys down here so that you can see what I'm doing. So there we go. Get that tight. And what that now allows is you could see before how it was just able to drop it in. Now it needs to go in the T-slot. So now if you pull back too far, it won't fall out. So a little bit of a safety helps line it up. So let's see what the next thing is. All right, the instructions now say to take our fence off. And the reason we're going to do that is if you look right down here, we have expansion spots for the insert so that we can get this nice and tight. So here you go. Here's your fence. And here's the actual gauge part, I guess you shall be able to say. So we have this one here, this one here that one and that one so now we just need to see which one we need to adjust first okay we have our fence off we're separate now what I had to do I had to read ahead a little bit guys I needed to open up the um, I already had the hardware pack but the next one I had to open up was the spare parts pack because I needed the Allen key out of it. So what we're going to do now is make our adjustments on here, and then we need to slide this, spin it around, and make adjustments on two more sets of these adjustments that are underneath here. So it says to start with the front ones first. Wanna make sure the whole thing's on the table. And it says go clockwise until it, it fits smooth, going a little bit at a time. You can still see we have a lot of wobble in the front. So we're going to go again. So now we need to take this fully out. Spin this around to be able to get to the two that are in the back. So we'll go ahead and make those adjustments and that should tighten everything up and get it really nice. And I'm sure because these are either, I'm not sure if they're nylon or Teflon inserts, but I'm sure they're gonna wear and that's why they give you replacement parts. So. Let 
These are a bit more of a pain to get to. I almost feel like it would be easier if you just took out that main screw and adjusted it that way. I really have to force that to get any movement so what I'll do is I'll use that for a little bit and I'll take my test cuts see what I come up with and I, I think we're uh, nice and tight there because it catches a little bit in the back of my t-slot so if I come back here it gets a little bit snug but that that feels pretty good to me so that's where we are with that put that over here I'm going to put that all back in the bag for my spare parts so that way I don't just have random screws and nuts and everything sitting around and Okay, guys, I I skipped over something, and I'll show you what that is. You can loosen all three of these screws up that are in the back. This basically allows you to take your whole fence assembly out, and now you can... Got to get this stuff out of the way. Now this will set it up. I got to get the full the bolt fully out of the back here. And then this gets switched over to this side, but I need the T-slot piece that's inside. Need that piece. So we can take this Slide that in there. Preferably not drop it inside like I did. Alright, so now we can put this on this side because it's ambidextrous, so now I can slide it over, get an idea of where it is in my table saw with the blade, and now I have an expansion on the right side. So this works really well for either side. I'm not sure which side I'm going to use it on yet, maybe the right, maybe the left. I might even be switching back and forth, but it fits good with the adjustments I made in both T-slots. So, I thought that would be something that you guys would uh, like to know about this because that was actually one of the reasons I liked it is because it was reversible. So, let me get this switch back to zero now just because... All right. So we have that done. It shows you how to use this, how to lock it down. I'll probably do a whole nother video on that just because it um, that's uh, pretty in depth. So now we'll go ahead and we will get our stop put on, which is fairly simple. 
you have screws in the back that hold against the back and I don't know if you guys can see let me see if it will actually zoom and focus you see how these are kind of like grooved there you go you can get a little bit of a look there of it how it's grooved and basically what that does is you have the same grooves down here so when you flip this over and you put this in even if you don't crank down on this just barely this thing is not going to move and that was one of the other big things is I love that it actually has and I think they're 1 32nd increments that these little fins are for um, locking down so this has two options you can use it as just like a bar you can take this bar out there's other adjustments to where you could use it as a flip stop if you were doing production or if you were just trying to batch something out so I mean really that's and I also I have to look in here a little bit further but there is also a way that you can this will expand and let me take this off I'll show you there's actually two sets of come on I'm set in this back one right now so I can slide it over to this one and that will allow me to put a piece of sacrificial wood on the front so kind of like if I was using it as a crosscut sled or something like that so I would be able to take these two screws out move it forward and then this would be out three quarters of an inch I believe it is so I would be able to put a piece of wood against here so I could go up so that way I can prevent tear out and stuff of that nature so a lot of good things that this has um, I'm not going to go into the full setup of the stop and everything. I mean, it's pretty simple. So, I mean, that's your full setup and how you do it. And right here is what I was explaining to you about putting a sacrificial board on the back. And you see how they move the slot so that way it'll hold down. So... That's about it, guys. That's how you put together your Incra Micra, Incra Micra, geez, your Incra Miter 1000 HD. So, guys, I want to show you one other thing on here. For somebody like me, this is going to work out really well. So, if you look right down here, let me see if I can zoom in for you again. A little bit closer. I don't know if you can read it, but this has all the different angles. So basically what that does is it tells you all the angles you need it. So for like me, if I want to make a segmented bowl and turn it on my lathe, basically what I would do is if I wanted it to be six sides, eight sides, 12 sides, 20 sides, they give me the angle on here that I would need like four sides would be 45 if I wanted to do 15 sided it's 12 degrees so it gives you everything you need to do like a bunch of projects like that so it it's going to help out a lot and it's also going to bring a lot to the channel in the way of projects so so guys I hope you enjoyed this I can't wait to use this. It is going to be a phenomenal asset to my table saw and also just the level of projects that I'll be able to do. I'm looking forward to doing a lot of stuff with this. Probably I'll use it almost every day. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. And just remember guys, get it in your shop. Bring your idea to a reality. Have a nice day guys.